And then when you wake up the next day, if you're feeling a little hungover, you can enjoy a nice meal. We've all heard of Black Friday, but what about Blackout Wednesday? It's a day that comes with many names, including Drinksgiving. And it's tonight, the day before Thanksgiving, when many will crack open a bottle or hit the bars as friends and family come back together to celebrate the holiday. Valley News Team's Molly Casey spoke with a local liquor store about how it impacts their bottom line and if local residents know of this social holiday. I'm here to get wine. The doors of the bottle barn started opening faster and faster as customers shuffled through to pick up wine, beer, and more for the Thanksgiving holiday. But there's also a reason many stocked up tonight. Drinksgiving. Alicia Jacobson is the manager of the bottle barn and says tonight is all about being social. People like to drink when their family comes over and everybody likes to try new stuff and it's a good time to drink. And residents agree. It's time to see your old friends that you haven't seen or family that you see once in a blue moon. Your family's home for the holidays, so you get to hang out and spend good time with your family. But there may be a bigger reason why liquor stores will be busier than usual. We're closed tomorrow, so everybody has to get all their booze for tomorrow, today. Liquor stores in North Dakota have limited hours or are closed on major winter holidays like Thanksgiving, but it gives stores a bump in sales. Well, it's compacted two days into one, so it's, I mean, it's a huge jump for us in one day. And there's one item that will sell more than others. They're looking for a lot of good wine to go with their meals. They ask a lot of questions about wines and what goes with what and what they should be drinking, what they should have. And while not everyone may know what Drinksgiving is. I've heard like Friendsgiving, but. They understand the thought behind it. No one goes to work tomorrow and I have to deal with family tomorrow. From Fargo, Molly Casey, Valley News Live. And while it's okay to have a good time, it's never okay to drink and then get behind the wheel. And to help keep the roads safe, North Dakota law enforcement, they have checkpoints scheduled tonight for a large portion of the valley.